Good evening, Warriors fans. Welcome to our 14th annual West Kelowna Warriors Faith Night. Tonight, you're gonna to hear from some of the players. Uh, you're gonna hear from assistant coach and general manager, Eric Nickel. You'll, you'll hear from a defenseman, Landon Hilditch, and also from the team captain, Brennan Nelson. Also, the play-by-play -play broadcaster will be giving a few words, and his name is Trevor Miller. I get the privilege of doing color commentary beside Trevor on many of our home games and every once in a while on a, on a road trip as well. Let's have a wonderful faith night tonight. I trust you enjoy the evening. I trust you enjoy the game. And uh, from past to gone, God bless you. I have Landon Hilditch here from the Warriors and uh, Landon is a defenseman for on, on the team. And, and Landon, you usually come to the Warriors Chapel program and. Uh, every two weeks, uh, we meet in dressing room number nine, and that, that's the way it's been for, for just years and years. Uh, Landon, what do you feel about the benefits of a Warriors Chapel program? I think whether you're religious or not, Chapel gives you an opportunity to talk to a mentor such as Pastor Don about issues that not necessarily involve hockey and just about life and anything to do with that. Okay, what is your favorite part of Warriors Chapel? Go ahead. Uh, pizza and Orange Crush is awesome, but just listening to the stories that Pastor Don has to say and just kind of listening to the underlying life lessons in them. Thank you. Thank you, Landon. The last thing is, uh, what have you, has any one thing uh, maybe stood out to you or that you've learned over the chapel program at all? Anything at all? I think just listening to your stories and the life lessons, like I said, and a lot of them about honesty and integrity, that probably stuck out the most to me. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you, Landon. With me tonight is uh, the uh, Warriors assistant coach and general manager, Ayrton Nickel. And Ayrton, it's good to have you uh, here uh, tonight and, and on the screen. Uh, could you just tell me a little bit about Warriors Chapel? The first thing I wanna know is, uh, um, how do you, what do you feel is the benefit to uh, the Warriors Chapel program? I think it, uh, it gives these guys a chance to get away from hockey a little bit. Um, you know, they're here at the rink every single day, six days a week, sometimes 13 or 14 days. So I think it gives them a chance to really, you know, um, take a little break from the game and, uh, you know, enjoy, enjoy some time with you and talk about some things that are sometimes bigger than hockey. That's true, that's true. Uh, thank you. Uh, what is your favorite part of Warriors Chapel? Besides your face is definitely the pizza and orange pop. My face? And Pizza and orange pop, I'll take that. Uh, the last thing I want to ask you, uh, Ayrton, is uh, uh, has anything that uh, throughout the years, and I know you come to the first chapel every year, uh, what is the uh, things that maybe you, that stands out about Warriors Chapel or that you maybe learned a little bit or something along those lines? Uh, I've learned that uh, there's always going to be someone there for you. Um, whether if, you know, if you're struggling with anything, you, know, you always have family support, you always have you know, your friends and for these guys, their teammates, and you, know, you always have to have yourself, but there's always gonna be someone you know, there for you when you need it. Thank you, Ayrton. Thank you. God bless you, pal. With me tonight is Trevor Miller. Uh, Trevor is the play-by-play -play broadcaster for the Warriors, and he's up in the booth every game, home and away, and uh, oftentimes I'm up in the booth with him, trying to do a little bit of color and maybe a little bit of comic relief and just giving Trevor a break once in a while. Trevor, we've known each other for a long time and uh, in fact, uh, become good friends over the years. This summer's a special time for you and uh, we're involved with that as well. Yeah, yeah I'm getting married this summer and uh, thankfully having you be the officiant, although I think if I didn't, we might have some choice words for each other. But yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's awesome obviously to have you a part of that and, and to have you in the booth too. You know, we've known each other for about eight to 10 years, had a good relationship you know, in the booth and then away from that, coming on your annual road trips to the island as well. So it's a lot of fun to, to have you up in the booth, Don, and, and bring you on the broadcast. And, of course, have faith night as well. You know, I know how special that is to you, bringing all the local communities and churches together, and, uh, and it's just a great night to be a part of. Thank you, Trevor. Thanks, Thanks so much, pal. Appreciate it. With me is Brennan Nelson, the captain of uh, the Warriors Hockey Club. And Brennan, it's good to, uh, to be with you tonight uh, talking about uh, chapels. You've been around the team for a while, and you've been to quite a few chapels over the years. Uh, what do you feel, Brennan, is the, uh, the benefit of Warriors Chapel? Yeah, you know, I think uh, at the end of the day, we're more than just hockey players, right? So, you know, just learning different ways to be a more well-rounded individual and just, you know, yeah, bring that to your everyday life. 
Is there a favorite part you have of Warrior's Chapel? What is your favorite part of Warrior's Chapel? You know, I gotta say my favorite part is just the knowledge that you bring every day and just you know being able to learn from all your different experiences and stories and you know how they relate to just being a better person overall, but you know, obviously the, the pizza and pop definitely helps as well. <laughs> Always does. Um, I know, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the schedule is usually the same. We have a story, you know, we do a, we do a prayer huddle at the end and, and, and then we do our, our chapel motto. All those, all those things are pretty standard as I've done forever for years. Um, uh, any one thing that you've learned or that has stood out over, over the years in chapel program, maybe this year or, or any of the years that you've been here? Yeah, I think, you know, with life, there's lots of ups and downs, and I think I just learned that positivity just that you bring every day, it, it kind of brings up the mood sometimes when you're not feeling too great. And just, you know, saying that motto at the end, I just, that's a great way to finish it, and, you know, I just love, love doing it every day. Yeah, that motto, the highest purpose for my faith in God is not to change my circumstances, but to change me. Thank you, people.